Okay, we're here in uh, Palo Alto, California at the Cube Cube Conversation. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined with Dave Wright, the Vice President of Worldwide Solutions Consulting with ServiceNow. Welcome to this Cube Conversation. No, great to be here. I mean, fantastic to be in the Valley. ServiceNow uh, leader in uh, IT, service management. You guys are taking the next step. Uh, one of the main topics is ERP for IT. Talk about what that means in context to the, the, the transformation as you guys go to the next level and roll out more stuff. So maybe the, the easiest way to think about it is the history of the company. So we started out as a platform with an ITSM solution on it. So we were doing all the, the standard ITIL stuff, the incident problem change stuff, CMDB. And over time, we realized that needed to evolve. So we evolved to what we've termed ERP for IT. And that's where we're not just addressing the people who are dealing with the problems that come up in IT, but we're addressing the whole of IT. So people from inception through project management, right through software development lifecycle, and then all the way to getting applications or infrastructure rolled out and being able to manage, monitor, maintain those applications and the infrastructure. And then we found customers were starting to take the next step themselves. So customers decided that what you do in HR or what you do in facilities or what you do in marketing in terms of linking requests together is exactly the same way that IT manages its infrastructure. So what happened then was people started to use the ability to build applications on the platform, and we're actually now starting to see a migration beyond ERP for IT into what we're calling service relationship management, where people are managing the different service relationships between the different business units. So it's an exciting time. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting. Certainly IT is uh, transforming, and, and the investment cycle is coming in huge. People have not now have money to invest for transformation. You've got cloud, mobile, and social. Um, but IT has cobbled up all these tools over the years. You know, I got a tool for this, I got a tool for that. Um, and it's become cluttered, it's become complex. So right. can you talk about the dynamics that you guys see out there around the complexity? Um, and certainly when you talk about vendor management, you <laughs> You gotta have some standardization. Yep. So I mean, that, that's a topic that comes up all the time on the cube. What is the challenge around one? Is that happening? Is right. there too many tools out there? Not necessarily a bad thing. Yep. A tool for the job is kind of the philosophy we hear, but it can be complex and talk about that standard issue. I think one of our philosophies was the legacy systems have kind of been around for a while and grown through acquisition, but you never really got any assimilation. So there's there's two parts to the complexity. The first is people had all these multi-tiered platform apps that were, were trying to hang together and needed to be implemented in separate ways, configured in separate ways. You have massive complex data chains between them doing data transformation. So the fundamental concept behind our architecture was to have a single system of record. So everything sits on one system, sits on one data model with a common code base. And then all the functionality that you get, the, the ability to have orchestrated workflows, the ability to do alerts, escalations, you could build that into any module within the system. And it meant that you could not just implement one system and have it in place, but you could also deal with upgrades in a much more simpler way than you ever would before. You didn't have to upgrade multiple components. So that's kind of the first element of complexity. The second element is what you were talking about. You know, you've, you've got relationships with MSPs, you've got relationships with different vendors. So people wanted a way where they could, they could compare, contrast different vendors and actually produce like a data model that says how well are these vendors performing. So one of the, the new things we've released now is vendor management, which allows you to look right across from incidents, problems, configuration items, and start to map what value you're getting from your vendors, and then be able to use that value in negotiations when it comes to contract renewal. Before we talk about the three apps that you guys are announcing, I want to ask you, you brought this up early, uh, just earlier, single system of record. What does that mean? I mean, that's... You know, Dave Vellante talks about the you know single version of the truth that kind of kicks around, and you know that's a big issue. But like, define what does single service uh, of system of record mean? What does that mean? So for us, it out? means it means having everything in 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 one data model. So you imagine whenever you do anything, the amount of data that you reuse. So you might have uh, a list of locations that you've got. You've got all the people in the company, all the assets in the company. Now, now, typically in, in legacy systems, they're pulled in from various different components. In our system, they all sit in one centralized data model. So as soon as you build a new application, if you build a facilities application, you don't need to re-import all the buildings and locations and assets into that. They're already there. As soon as you want to access a file, you just point to that file and the data's there. Okay, so if I just tie this together real quick. Uh, the tool sets are complex. They're not going to go away necessarily. You guys are just abstracting no. away the complexity 
with a single interface. Yes, or, correct. And so that's what your secret sauce is. Yeah, that's and what you mean by single service. You've got right. you've got the you've got the underlying data model that's got the consistency, but then you've also got the yeah. top level consistency. So everyone's using the same UI. <laughs> everyone's got the yeah. the ability to use an application without yeah. training. Sounds like some sort of catalog might be on top of it. Well, we'll get to that later. <laughs> let's, let's let's get into the apps that you guys are announcing. So there's three apps: there's vendor performance, resource management, and and the third one is the password reset. So talk about which w each of those mean. So the start with the uh, vendor. Uh, the vendor management management side that's that's been a challenge people have had for a while but now it's getting more and more complex as more and more vendors are coming in and you're seeing this layer of abstraction where people are starting to use SaaS based solutions or people are using cloud based solutions people need a way to understand how those vendors perform so what vendor management allows you to do is correlate all the different incidents problems outages that you've had with a vendor and monitor the SLAs that you get with a vendor so you can then compare and contrast all your vendors, but you can go back and, and say to the, the vendor, you know, you said you were going to give us this performance, and in the past we just had your theory on that. Here's what we're seeing. Here's the data. Us. Yeah, it's here the, it is. Here's it's the, the data. Yeah. Okay, how about resource management? Obviously, that's, some, that's on everyone's mind. You want to know what's going on everywhere yeah. and tie that together. How does that fit? So, so resource management, you've got very complex pools of people that are working together across different applications in IT. Some people are on specific projects. Some people may be doing firefighting with incidents and problems coming up. What this allows you to do is, is manage the most expensive resource in the company, which is the people. So you can now look across your workforce and see who's being utilized at what point and what availability you've got. So it means you can plan ahead and you can source out capacity for peak periods and get a feel for what people are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And the third one is the password reset. What's new in that area? And what is, why is that for everyone else wants to reset their <laughs> password? We've all been there, done that. Um, but why is it a big deal here? Because if you imagine what you do every day, you, you lose a password somewhere, you go onto the system and you say, okay, I'll answer a few questions or I'll, I'll validate via SMS or I'll, I'll use capture and type in the wiggly word and that will reset my password. But on an enterprise level, we've never done that. So enterprise is typically people phoning up to get a password reset. And the analysts say that's 20% of calls, so a fifth of your time just doing something as dull as that. So what it allows you to do is take that whole social aspect and put it on the enterprise. And as you look at the way we've moved through the different generations of people using IT, so we've gone down the, the Gen X, Gen Y digital natives, now you've got the new layer, the entitlement generation. They're not expecting a system where you phone up and someone resets your password. They want to do it themselves. I mean, it's a consumer experience. It's the yeah, consumerization yeah, yeah. of IT. I mean, yeah, you want it to be like Amazon. You want it to be like eBay. You don't want it to be <laughs> like something stuck in the 80s. Uh, David Wright, Vice President. Great, uh, great conversation. It's a cube conversation. I'll give you uh, the final word here. Just put a bumper sticker on the car for this uh, ERP for IT. If, you know, if you're going driving down the freeway, what, what's the bumper sticker say? What's the big deal in this announcement um, for the folks to walk away with? So what this enables you to do is manage the whole of IT in a consistent manner. So you're not just looking at your, your operations or your development phase, you're looking at the entire life cycle of any IT asset that you have in the company. Thank you very much. This is a CUBE conversation live in Silicon Valley. We're happy to have service now here. Thanks so much for your time, Dave. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it.